All right, so we got to end on a good one, right? So I have e raised to the 2x uh, minus 9e to the x minus 36 equals 0. So you might be wrapping your heads around this one and be like, uh, OK, I have no idea what to do. Um, but you know, there's a couple things that we need to remember. And remember, x to the m times x to the n equals x to the m times n. All right. And the other thing we remember is we have multiple x's, right? Not just an x in one term, but an x in two terms. And now, we, since they're not like terms, we can't combine them. But I need to be able to term what, pro, what did we use when we had terms that you know, had the same bases, like a x squared minus x cubed? Well, we couldn't combine these because they weren't like terms. However, we could apply something as far as factoring, right? And here, you notice I have a trinomial. So what I want to do is be able to determine, well, what two values now are going to multiply to give me e to the 2x? Now, remember, when you're multiplying with your exponents, um, geez, oh man, you're going to add your exponents. So therefore, I know that this is going to be e to the x times e to the x. Because again, e to the x times e to the x equals e to the x plus x. Well, x plus x is equal to e to the 2x. All right. So now I just need to determine what two numbers multiply to give me negative 36, but then are going to add to give me negative 12. Well, to get that, I could do negative 12 plus 3, because 3 times negative 12 is negative 36. And negative 12 plus uh, 3 is going to leave me with negative 9. Now I can apply the 0 product factory. So I can set both of these equal to 0. All right, and then I solve. So I have e to the x equals negative 3. And I have e to the x minus r equals 12. Now I've got to solve both of these. Well, we have a problem right here because it's saying e raised to what number equals negative 3. And remember, we can't take a number, raise it to a, po a positive number, raise it to a number to make it negative. So therefore, this is not a solution. However, to solve this, we can just rewrite this in exponential form. ln of base e of 12 equals x. So now I just need to take the natural logarithm of 12. So I do ln of 12. And that's going to be 2.48. So x is approximately 2.48. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve an exponential equation by using factoring. Thanks.